Hello guys, what is up? It's you know how here with a new video. So first thing I'd like to address my delay of videos which I'm not happy about. I've had a lot of school work so I've not been able to upload as frequently as before but I'm going to get a schedule down there and I'm going to upload hopefully daily from now on. As always so I'd like you to suggest new videos that you'd like me to create. I have a few series in mind, I'm starting a new one as of now which is going to be called Tips, Tricks and Trolls. Uh, yeah. Sorry if I don't sound that confident as I have not loaded it quite well. Therefore my confidence has kind of dropped a tad but that will go up quite soon. So today in today's video as you'll see by the title this is five tips and tricks and one easter egg for CMD which uh, are quite enjoyable and are good to learn in general and are incredibly helpful when using CMD. Okay so to access CMD just go to your start menu and type in CMD. You can also go to your Windows 8 menu and go to the search bar. I use start menu 8 which uh, then that's a um, Windows 7 kind of start menu, which I prefer. Okay, so the first command is going to be colour and then a letter. In this case, it's going to be A, then it's colour B, colour C, colour D, colour E, colour E, colour G. Oh, that, that's not very good. However, there is a whole array of colours which you can see there by me uh, typing an incorrect. <clears throat> and there's a massive array which is great. I'm just gonna go back to color D. So this brings me on to my second command which is CLS. CLS, when you type it in CMD, clears everything that you can see on the screen. It makes everything in general a lot tidier and great if you have OCD <sighs> because everything looks so much tidier. This brings us on to our third trick, which is ipconfig. ipconfig brings you up information about your IP address, what your IP is, etc, etc, and far more. That means you no longer need to go to, say, IP chicken or what's my IP, because all you need to do is go on your CMD, type in ipconfig, and you'll have all the information there a lot quicker. Obviously, I'll be blocking out all my IP information for I do not want to be DDoS. So I'll just type CLS there again. Um, actually, I need to bring up IP config once more to show how uh, my fourth trick, which is copy and paste, and it can be quite hard and tedious in command prompt or CMD without knowing how to do so. What you need to do is right click, click mark on the top of the menu that you'll see and then left click and drag to the selected area which you want to copy. Just left click again and it will copy it. To prove that this has copied, I'll go to text uh, make a text document on my desktop and Use the shortcut Control V to copy and paste. If you still don't believe me, I will officially show you by pasting them with the mouse. As you can see, it's all there. I will now delete the text document for I have no need for it. Okay, so once again, I'm going to use CLS. For the last. <coughs> For the last tip slash trick I have is going to be an easter egg. Uh, the first thing that you're going to have to type is Talnet. It's about T T E L N E T. This will bring uh, this little thing up. From here you're going to have to type O and then you're going to have to type Tal dot blinken 
blinking lights. Sorry, there's no dot there. Blinking light dot. And now, I'll repeat that again. And of course, this is going to be in the description. You need to type tau dot blinking lights dot and now, and then click enter. What this is is an Easter egg for Talnet, which is basically Star Wars Episode Four in ACIR, ASCII even. So it's right here. It's quite awesome. Uh, I will have at some point the full uh, ASCII video you can say on my youtube channel but for now on i'm just going to show you a little preview of it you can do it on your own if you like and check it out and it's quite quite nifty quite cool to see what they have done <sighs> okay so this has been you know how as you can see by my desktop background please like comment and subscribe to my video, uh, to my YouTube, in fact, as it helps a lot. And well, theoretically, the more subscribers I'll get, the more driven I will be to upload more videos and help you guys out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. This has been You Know How, and goodbye.